Buenas on half a day. My name is Larry Calvo and I'm the representative for the Pacific region and I live on the beautiful island of Guam. Guam is the largest and southernmost of the Mariana Island chain and the closest landmass to the Mariana Trench. It is surrounded by the Philippine Sea to the west and the Pacific Ocean to the east. If you were to visit Guam, I, there are many places of historical and cultural significance in, met in our 19 villages, including our capital, Hagania. Behind me is the Plaza de España, which was the location of the governor's palace during Spanish occupation, and later the official residence of the naval governor and American administration headquarters after the Spanish-American War and U.S. took control of Guam. The Plaza de España was Guam's epicenter of the social scene, with many concerts, pageants, and festivals being held here. It was also the site which on December 10, 1941, Naval Governor George J. McMillan surrendered the island to the Japanese, and it became the official seat of Japanese occupation for two and a half years, until it was heavily damaged by the shelling of Hagatnya during the World War II retaking and liberation of Guam in July 1944. It still serves as a center for civic functions, such as the inauguration of the governor of Guam and a reminder of Guam's colorful past. Laddy stones are unique to the Mariana Islands as they were house supports for the ancient Chamorro people. These ones here were brought from, south, from the south of Guam to here in Hagatia. They're a monument to a culture that has thrived through much change and a symbol of strength for the Chamorro people. If I were to take you to visit Guam, I would definitely take you to our warm oceans where I like to spend some time snorkeling and paddle boarding with my family. If I would be any explorer, I think I would be Magellan because it would be very interesting to see Guam and the Chamorro peoples during their contact with the Europeans. If I could go to anywhere in the world, I think I'd go to the Iberian Peninsula so I could see both Seville and the Azores where my parents' ancestors are from so I could learn more about their history and culture. How do I smush all that information in my brain? I not only like to learn the geography or the, of the country, but also its people, animals, culture, and even food, because it keeps me interested. If I could be leader of the world for one day, I would try to stop conflicts between all countries and peoples. Hey, Nat Geo, did you know that the first trans-Pacific flight made stops in Hawaii, Midway, Wake, and Guam before stopping in Manila? The China Clipper took off from San Francisco at an average rate of 115 miles per hour and total the Trans-Pacific flight took 59 hours and 48 minutes. When I grow up, I think I'd like to travel around the world and build buildings in countries all across the globe. Thanks Nat Geo, I'll see you in Washington.